city, but you stay. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Hello, Connor. That tea is being illegally smuggled all around Boston by Johnson's men. If you see any crates in transit, perhaps you could put a stop to the delivery. And those moody tax collectors are still at it. They could use a lesson or two, huh? Ah! Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate.
For all manner of Westphalian products, go to Herr Hoyt. The best products come directly from the Rhineland. <laughs>
assist! Enjoy! Clear shot. Connor! Ah, you've been busy. The collectors and smugglers are both reeling. It's just what we need. When you're done, maybe we go straight to the source, huh? Why would you shot? Oh, small oh, rat. Is there a reason you're acting the blade cuddy?
Why do you direct such aggression at me, sir? Mm. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Vont me payer ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine! Waiting for a beating! Ah. I will match your face to your jacket, This is beyond anything. Take my things? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. Oh, <laughs> 
injustice, but this is not it. you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Bloody hell are you? Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. Here for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams.
If any should sight this crazed killer, killer, do not seek to apprehend him yourself. On several varieties of fruit. Send the three ships back, cargo and all. Aye, but Governor Hutchison refuses to let them leave. What? What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so.
We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command.
We've done it! Gunner! We saved the last one for you. We get out of here, huh? to move further Hard men. Now!
Done with you. Come back here, you great Jesse. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> 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 Stop here about. We know you. Over here, you mad maggot. He could be playing the mouse, yeah.
for fate huh. is kill himself. Fawn, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted, but after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. He marched all across the White North, feeding Louis-Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander-in-chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. He died on the field. But I'm told he fought ferociously. It matters little. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope, that he smiles upon the choices I've made. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it a kraken, others just a sea monster. They say it's 50 feet long if it's an inch, and it rolls ships for sport. You won't find me on the high seas searching for the beast. That's a guarantee I can give you. But it's a riddle that needs solving.
It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch the new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganon Dokon, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting?
Signing our lines over to you, then we'll be as one. Dead forever. Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? Their spirits will guide us as they always have. Did they not guide us here? Yes, that we might unmask the great grave. This is a mistake. We should sign. Peace! Peace! Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwich. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Send one of your own to oppose me? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Or that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. Tis the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you.
ayawas ne yahte hagum sare anda ya yunes kana se zagu hache William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can...
bloody nerve. We've got problems! Get close. Keep moving, mate. You won't catch him. Leave off him. Clear shot on him. Yes, well done. You'll not get through it. Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. We've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse!
I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Yes! This is it! This is the way! Give me a moment, and I will get my bearings. Turn back, Connor! You're going the wrong way! I believe we are on course. Yes! This is it! Redcoats. What are they doing here? I believe we are on course. They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Left! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Go left up here. I believe we are on course. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. I have made this crossing a dozen times. Why is everything suddenly so foreign? Pressure must be getting to me. Go right, Connor! Go right, Connor! <laughs> Left!
To the right, Connor! To the right! Go right, Connor! Go left up here. We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! Way, Connor. Excellent. We are right on course. This way, Connor. Excellent. We are right on course. Go left up here. To the right, Connor! To the right! Yes! This is it! This is the way! I believe we are on course! Excellent! We are right on course! To the right, Connor! To the right! <laughs> oh, bother. Everything looks the same at night. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Where are we? This is all wrong! Left! To the left, Connor! Left! Keep going! Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Is everything all right, my friend? What are you doing? Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. What are you doing? Quick, hide!
We will never finish in time if we go by foot. What are you doing? Uh, Connor? Be on the lookout for redcoats. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you what trying matter, to prove? Sir? This is it! You have got the right place! Be on the lookout for redcoats. Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! I believe we are on course. Keep going! be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! Faster! We need to get away from them! of surprise. Much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. We need to lose them. Find a way to get rid. Make sure none of them get away.
Shake those red coats. was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. This way, Connor! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents! Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... Put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Oh, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. 